All right. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your February 2014 reading. Um, I have 12 of these videos to do. So um, again, if you if your sun sign, moon sign, um, a rising sign is in Aries, um, then this is for you. Uh, okay. So here we go. Aries, you're ruled by uh, the first house. The first house is all about physical energy battle, and you're also ruled by Mars. So Mars also has same energy, okay? It's, it's, it's very uh, forward, and um, that's the energy that you naturally have, and this could be to your success, and it also, also could be to your demise, okay? So, so when Mercury's in retrograde for from February 6th to the 28th, things may seem to look one way when it really isn't, okay? So let's let's get, get into Venus. Let's talk about love first, because this will tie it all in, because Mercury's in retrograde, so seems as though Mercury's moving further away from us. And you know Venus is the planet of love. So we want love to move forward to us. January 31st, Venus goes direct. Now, until then, Venus is, is in retrograde, so it seems as though it's moving further away. Okay, so this is the point. Things that your perception of people's actions might have been not out of love when that's not the case. So then we react to things um, when we perceive things a certain way. Okay, perception, perception, perception. So now with Valentine's Day coming up on the 14th, we have the full moon in Leo. Full moon in Leo, Leo is another fire sign. You can um, tap into, um, connect to um, a, a creative uh, power, a leadership power. Uh, so for love, now, love is going to be your career focus, okay? Love is going to be um, your work. Venus energy is about love, it's about your work, it's about money, it's about what you value, how you value yourself, who are the people in your life you value. Um, right now you might be feeling these feelings of friendship, who are my real friends, am I a real friend? Maybe, maybe um, for Aries that's such a strong personality, you need to think, how am I a friend? Am I a friend? And then, you know, it's all, up, all about our perception. North Node and South Node. North Node is where you want to go to, South Node is of lower consciousness, um, it's my best way of um, explaining this, um, the lower self. If you believe in past life, you can have wonderful traits from your past life, which is, which is, which is your north node, or um, lower traits from past life, which is your south node. So north is where you want to go, south is where you learn your lessons, you're saying, okay, this is not, I'm not acting out of my best self, okay? So I, I want to make sure that I, I get this right. So, uh, Yes, here we are. We the North Node is moving into Libra. Libra is all about balance. So you're going to find balance um, in these coming months. Okay, so the next two years now, it's all about balance. North Node, Libra, moving into balance. All the positive aspects of, the, of Libra. Before it was in Scorpio. Scorpio is a great, powerful sign. Scorpios, uh, Scorpions have great memory, but the, the negative aspect, um, and it was in North Node. So North Node was a, a more positive aspect of. Um, of Scorpio, but some traits also. Um, I won't get into that one. So let's go into the South Node, Taurus. This is it. Taurus, the South Node was in Taurus. So Taurus is usually about home, right? The positive home, being comfortable at home. That's great. The, 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 the flip side of it is focusing on what others were doing and taking it as a negative. So that's where the South Node was in Scorpio. Now it's moving to Aries, and the positive part of Aries is forward thinking, forward moving, uh, creativity, getting things done, um, uh, promoting. It's, it's more of a supportive role. So this is where it comes in. It's a supporting self, but also you can, um, for the wholeness, it's supporting, supportive of others. And this is where it ties in with your career reading for February. Uh, your the, the message of success for Aries. Um, is, is teamwork and um, it, it, uh, incorporating uh, many people and getting things started. This is a great um, energy for you. Uh, I think I covered everything. I pulled uh, ten or rather nine of swords, and this is all about depression, fears, anxiety. But what this is a call to is that we hold ourselves in bond bondage. So this is like a wake-up call, like, okay, i got to move to my higher self, i, I got to move to that north node, i got to move to the energy of 
um, Libra, which is all about balance. So I hope this helps. Um, so much information I want to get into, but I'm trying to keep it short. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy your reading. And, yeah, love is in the air. Love. Yes, the important thing I wanted to mention with love that I, I, I didn't is that in love for Libra at home, um, if, if, you, if you're not in a relationship because you've been trying to get your work going in the way that you want it to go, and this is probably why the other video <laughs> I wanted to talk about love. <laughs> okay, so the love part is, um, if, you, if, you, if you do not have a relationship, the love part is, is you've been focusing on your work, and your work has been your love from, you know, last year, even now, and so on. And once you kind of snap out of any kind of negative truth that you've noticed within yourself, then you can let actually the relationship love comes in. If you already are in a relationship, um, the strain of your own personality has been testing your unions, your associations, um, your marriage, uh, um, other people that love you, um, uh, and also contracts to you. You can be thinking, okay, have I been doing the best at, at um, the contract I'm in, or, or whatever has to do with contracts, so it's been a strain on that. Um, okay, and uh, we know when Mercury retrogrades, it's not a great time to sign contracts, make any big changes, anything that could could, um, any plan, you know, if the plan doesn't work out, it's not necessarily a negative thing. So when I first heard Mercury retrograde, I thought, oh my gosh, I think, you know, what's going on? But whenever it's, um, I think it was my Reiki master, uh, the lady that I was taking the Reiki classes from way back in the early 2000s, um, I was like, what's going on? This place is just crazy, you know? And she's like, oh, it's Mercury retrograde. And I was like, you know what, even though things didn't work out the way I planned it, it's still, I still had a I still had a good day, I still, things still went fine, so, you know, this is a great time to probably relax, um, be calm, think, it's a, it's a great time to um, clear your mind, and with March 1st, uh, Mars, which is Aries, Moon, and Planet going retrograde, um, assuming, assuming that, you know, it's further away, this is time um, to get your perspective in order, maybe time to relax, pull back. Um, let light shine on you, let light shine everywhere around you, people around you. So, um, I saw a great quote that says basically, let the light into your wounds, and I think that's a beautiful message I think I'll have for all of the videos, and that's very powerful. So, I hope this helps. Um, I hope you have a wonderful February. Don't forget to contact me for your own personal um, card reading. And, um, yeah, find me on Facebook and connect in the message. Thank you so much for your time.